did you start playing volleyball? I started playing volleyball in my eighth grade year. Nice meeting you. Were you one of the taller ones at yes. that point? That <laughs> yes, I was. Um, the coach saw me walking around school, and she said, oh, come join the volleyball team. And I was like, sure, okay, I'll learn something new. <laughs> and did you play basketball? I did, but it just wasn't the sport for me. I just kind of fell in love with volleyball. Yeah, volleyball clicked a, a lot better than basketball did. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Did yeah. you look at WVU at all out of high school? I, I did. Um, but there were no offers for me, so I went to a school that gave me an offer, and I transferred. Yeah. Okay. And so, uh, when, when the opportunity that came here? Yes, when the opportunity came, came really then I took it. Up. Yeah, immediately, yes. <laughs> <laughs> when did you first meet Jill? I guess she said she'd maybe seen you at football games with your father. Yes, we met her at a football game. Um, when we were up here with my dad, I think it was maybe my sophomore year. I, I don't remember. Um, mm -hmm. Sometime in high school, and uh, she told me that she was actually my dad and I were one of the first people she met after she got the job here at WVU. So that was kind of cool. So that was 2010. So you were what were you in high school? Uh, 2010. I do. I I think I was a sophomore then. So yeah, 2010. Yeah. Joe was saying. I mean, she says you're extremely hard hitter. There's a lot of power to your day, and she noticed this morning. True? Um, I, I, I guess so. I'm just going up and hitting the ball and trying to work on technique more than I am power now. But if she sees that, then that's great. I'm, I'm glad that I'm building my muscle back up and hitting the ball hard. That's a good sign. Where did you play in club? In club in Florida, I played for tri uh, Tribe Volleyball. Uh, they were out of Parkland, Florida. What position did you play? I was always a middle blocker. <laughs> always the tallest person on the court. Um, so that was where my coaches always put me. Can you tell things are done maybe a little different here than your previous school? Oh. As far as the coaching techniques or. Definitely. Um, there's a lot more coaches um, and everything is. Uh, there's a lot more drills that we do and perfection on technique. It's all these little tiny things that they're making us work on and um, that you wouldn't really think about would mm -hmm. help, but they actually do. But did you follow college volleyball at all coming up? Were you, were you aware of like who the good teams and conferences were? Um, I, growing up, I I never really watched volleyball. I'm, I'm more of like a football girl. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, but um, I, yeah, growing up, you you know, you know, Texas and Penn State and Stanford are the top volleyball schools usually. Um, but I would watch like the championship rounds. Yeah. WVU moving to the Big 12, did that, did that make them even more attractive to be able to play oh, in that way with the Texases and yeah, Iowa and States and people like that? When I heard that WVU was moving to the Big 12, I thought, wow, they, they want competition. They they want it. They're going after it. You know, the Big East was, you know, like a little weak with that. But now in the Big 12, there's just so much more with all sports. Mm -hmm. Just all the, the competition level just shot up tremendously. Yeah. So I think that's great.